Hi everyone, uh, this is a screencast for the Uniran tool. Uniran is a platform that you can use to coordinate Uniprobe website testing. And you can use Uniran to create a link for the censorship testing of websites of your choice. Or you can share this link with other Uniprobe users so they can also test those websites. An important thing to notice is that Uniran links only work with the Uniprobe mobile app. They won't work on the Uniprobe desktop, so please ensure that people you're engaging in testing have a mobile device and Uniprobe mobile installed on it. To create an Uniran link, we first need to determine which websites we want to test for censorship. So please start off by creating a list of websites in a text editor, for example like this, where each URL is in a separate line. You do not need to separate URLs by commas or in any other way, just make sure that each of them is on a separate line. To ensure that each URL is typed correctly, it's better to copy-paste it from the browser. So for example, if I want to put in facebook.com, I would put facebook.com in my web browser and copy www.facebook.com back to the text editor. This way you will avoid possible typos, such as typing HTTP instead of HTTPS or missing parts of the domain, such as www. Once you have a list with all the URLs you want to test, please copy the list from your text editor and now you will need to visit the Uniran website. Here you will see an interface with a slot for URLs. Please paste your copied list of URLs into the slot. You should now see that all of your URLs have populated each URL row in the Uniran page. If you notice any empty rows or otherwise misformatted URLs, please delete them by clicking on the deletion icon or edit them by clicking on the URL field. Once the list is ready, click Generate button at the end of your list. You will now see the pop-up window with link and widget code that you can use. Once you have the Uniran link and widget code, you can use the generated Uniran link to test the websites from your list. You can also share the generated Uniran link with the other Uniprobe users in your country or around the world, so they can also test those websites. To share the Uniran link, copy the generated link. You can do that uh, by clicking the link under share this link with the Uniprobe mobile app users uh, and pressing Ctrl A or Command A to select the wall link and then pressing Ctrl C to copy it or just uh, right click on the link and select copy link address. The important thing is to copy the wall URL and not to miss any part of it. Uh, now that you have copied the Uniran link you can share it with any Uniprobe users so they can test the websites you care about. Please remember that Uniran link can only be used with the Uniprobe mobile app. It is available for Android, AppDroid and iOS. If you are not sure if the people with whom you will be sharing the link have the app installed, please also share the Uniprobe mobile app installation link with them. The installation links for the Uniprobe app as well as the Uniprobe mobile user guide can be found on our website uni.org and yeah if you would like to perform the testing yourself please ensure you have the Uniprobe mobile app installed too. Uh, as you were probably doing all previous steps from your desktop as I did uh, please share the copied link with your mobile phone so that you can subsequently open the link with your Uniprobe mobile app. Once you've shared with your mobile phone, please tap on the Uniran link from your mobile device. If you are on Android, your phone will propose you open the link with the Uniprobe mobile app. Please do that instead of opening the link with your web browser. Uh, if you are opening the Uniran link from iOS, then the phone will automatically open the link through the Uniprobe app. As soon as you open the link with your Uniprobe mobile app, you will see your list of websites in your Uniprobe mobile app interface. Now you can tap Run to test your list of websites. 
depending on the length of your list and the performance of your network, the test runtime may vary. If the test takes too long and you would like to terminate it, you can stop the ongoing test by tapping the top button. If you are willing to continue the test, just leave it to the app and it will continue testing all the links from the list. Uh, once you or your contacts complete the testing based on the Unirun link, you will have immediate access to your test results through the Unipro mobile app. And also your test results will automatically get published on Uni Explorer and Uni API in near real time. Uh, you can get access to the published results through Unipro mobile app too by clicking on Uni Explorer button or you can see the raw data uh, with your test results if you click on the data button. Uh, to learn more about accessing and sharing Uniprobe test results, you can refer to Uniprobe mobile app user guide. The link to the user guide can be found in the description of this video. Instead of sharing Unirun links, you can generate Unirun widget code, which you can embed on your website to encourage long-term Uniprobe testing of websites that you care about. Uh, you can embed the generated widget code as a button or a banner. For example, uh, we have embedded several Unirun widgets into our own website to enable community members to more easily test specific websites for example, social media websites or news media or VPN websites, and also to coordinate some censorship measurements within specific countries, such as Azerbaijan or Kazakhstan. Uh, this is often much easier than sharing when you run links every time with a big list of users. And here is uh, another example of how our partner, Sinar Project, embedded when you run widgets into their website to encourage the testing of specific websites during Malaysia's uh, 2022 general election. Uh, to create your own Unirun widget, we need to go back to the pop-up window with the Unirun link we just used. Within the same window, you will also see widget code for testing the websites that you added to the Unirun platform. You can embed an Unirun widget uh, into your website as a simple button or as a tall banner, to do that, you can copy and paste the embed code from the pop-up window. Uh, for a simple button, use uh, this part. And if you would prefer to add a banner, use code after this uh, section. You will also have to include the widget script code, generally in the base layout of your website. You can find this part of the code at the bottom of the slot with the widget code. By default, the button will say Run Uni and the banner will say Fight Censorship. But if you want to customize the text, you can do that by editing the relevant part of the code. Uh, well, now you are all ready to test your own customized list of websites and to engage other people in measuring internet censorship. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that you will find this tool useful. And if you need any help or support from our side to coordinate internet censorship measurement in your country, please feel free to reach out to us through contact at openobservatory.org or through our Slack channels, uh, links to which you can find in the description of this video. Thank you. Bye.